My name is Peggy Garrett. I'm the executive director here at the Urban Mission. Last year was the 40th year that the mission has been assisting families in the community. We provide a, a wide range of services uh, for families and children to kind of help them uh, get back on their feet. We see a, a lot of families who we call the working poor. Uh, most of them have jobs, but they don't make a living wage, uh, or they, at least they do okay until something happens. A car breaks down or a child gets sick and it just kind of sends them to a little bit of a tailspin. And the mission is kind of that safety net. With, with the support of the Regional Food Bank of Oklahoma, the last couple of years, the mission has uh, transformed the way that we do our food delivery program. What we found and what the food bank found is to be a more client-friendly version, what they call a client choice food pantry. It's actually like a small grocery store. The clients actually get to choose the foods that they want or need. And so it's really made all the difference in the world. Our entire operation has totally changed from what we were doing uh, two years ago. And we've almost quadrupled the number of families that we're seeing. We also do a, a program at Thanksgiving that we're partner with the Oklahoma City Thunder team and so the, the team players come out and distribute uh, turkeys and all the fixings for Thanksgiving dinner. It's an important thing for our families but it's also uh, we found over the years real important to the players because that's the kind of connections that they want to make. Uh, we also do a huge Christmas program uh, called the Santa Store. The uh, second Saturday of each December uh, we provide toys and food and clothing to over 600 kids and their families each year. And again, it is, it is done in a store atmosphere. The parents actually get to shop for the toys that they want for their kids. And then we have a gingerbread mall that, that is available for the kids to shop for parents and grandparents and things like that. School supply program is something that we do year round, but the busiest time is obviously during the back to school uh, time during July and, and August. Uh, we serve over a thousand kids each year with backpacks and school supplies. Uh, shoes and uniform shirts. Not just giving the kids the tools they need to get back to school with, which we want, but it's also giving those kids the same things that the other kids have. So it's a self-esteem thing. Our, our children's program, SPARK, which is a support program of arts and reading for kids, is an after school and summer program. Uh, we work with these kids. Uh, our big push is reading. We want them to be good readers. If they can read well, then we feel like they can be successful and, and pretty much any other area that they try. We also have a garden on the parking lot in the back of the building that the kids uh, plant and tend, and so any produce that they grow from that is uh, then used in their meals. So they're able to plant that seed or seedling and uh, nurture that and then gather the produce from that and then prepare it in the kitchen and then eat it. So it's a whole circle of life. And it takes all of us uh, working together uh, to fight poverty and the effects of poverty and I think it, it, that the mission is a, a prime opportunity for, for people in the community to get involved in helping their neighbors and we do we are only able to do what we do with the help and support of the volunteers and the donors that, that, that help us each day to help other families and we appreciate that so very much.